All right, in this video, we are gonna load a program and I'm gonna critique Tyler on how he does it. What? So he's gonna load a program on Larry to cut out some Christmas presents. So walk us through it. Let's go. And this is gonna be the first in a series of how-to videos on some of this equipment because one of the things that, that I've noticed is there hasn't been a lot of how-tos on you know, the home ag equipment as well as a lot of other equipment. And so we wanna share that. We, wanna, we want people to know how to run these machines and how simple they are because we love them. We love these machines. So super simple. So we're going to open this up. Um, my wife and I talked and we're going to give these away as neighbor gifts. So it's pretty simple. It's just like running a computer, computer select. I've got all my stuff in Dropbox. I've already got this saved from the office. So I go into my master folder that I have saved. I save this under my house, you know, for fun. And these are the manger scenes. So we're going to do the manger. So this file that you're opening, how, like what software was it made in? This file was made in AlphaCam. So I just took some artwork, just some line art, put it in there, applied some tool paths and put it in. And you can see, you can see these little manger scenes that are set up. Now, one of the things that people make mistakes on, especially when they're first doing these machines, this blue box right here means it, the file's not loaded yet. I have to accept this file once I have it loaded. And what the cool thing about these home ag machines is it goes in the background and it checks to make sure everything's there. It checks to make sure the bits are in the machine that it needs. It checks to make sure there's no parameters that are set incorrectly. And if all things check out, then you'll get these little uh, lines saying, hey, it's time to run this file. So basically in the software, you programmed what bit was going to go on what path so that the machine can just load the file and know this is what I need. And it checks for it. Correct. What if you didn't have the right bit in the tool changer? So if the right bit wasn't in, it would come up with an error on the screen and say no appropriate tool for processing and it would not load the program. Could you change what bit you wanted to run it on from here or do you have to change it on the program? So that's a little dependent um, because you, you write in the program what size the bit is. And so if you have another bit, let's say another bit that uses the same tool number but it's slightly different, as long as it's the same diameter uh, and will will cut the same, has the same feeds and speeds and stuff like that, yes, you could switch it on the machine. Um, but if it's a different tool diameter, then you're gonna have to go reprogram it. Um, so I guess the critique that I wanna get is, do you guys manually load everything? So usually we set, if we're doing production runs, we'll set them in what's called a production list. So I can hit this F11 and then we can just select, like I could come in here and I could select just super quickly, all of these programs. Some of these are kind of big, so it might take a second. And now it's created a list and it'll just run from top to bottom. Got it. So, so why, why not have some sort of automation to load jobs? So the CNC's that go from the store are automated. Um, this is more of a manual machine. Got it. So the Although ones- you can, do, you can get barcoding. If you had barcodes for certain things, they would read those. So now, now that you've loaded the software, what's the process from now that it's loaded? So I can see that that's no longer blue. It's got the lines. What's next? Okay. We're going to, we're going to turn what's called control power on. And what did that, that button do? This was a reset button because we had turned the compressor off earlier. So we turned the compressor back on. So it had a, an error. So now we just reset that. Got it. So, and you see the, the rail and the pins popped up. So I'm going to just take the sheet, put it in the corner, hit so this you're, pedal. You're orienting it based off of the software where it's saying that that was the corner to yep. put it up against. So that's the zero, zero point on the machine. So and then that's the vacuum hit, pedal. Hit the pedal, it'll vacuum it down. And we hit the start button here and it's ready to rock. But you need to turn dust collection on. Yeah, we're not going to start until you go turn it on. <laughs> so. Once we turn dust collection on, push that button, it's going to run. Anything else? Kind of the how to load program? No, it's pretty simple. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, before he runs this, I asked him if there was a way in the software to estimate it. And it has a CNC simulator that you can see on the screen that it's running. And it's estimating that this job will take 62 minutes. So, do you think it's accurate? I bet it's close. Now you know. Let's try it. 